Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the bank reconciliation which is provided by the accounting module of Odo 16. This process helps the users to match the cash account information of an individual or a firm with the bank details. Bank reconciliation helps the person or an individual to check the differences in accounts by comparing the accounts. This also helps us to take corrective measures on noticing any kind of differences in the account. On noticing the difference, Odoo will help to reconcile it. Without wasting any time, let's move forward to the accounting module and see how bank reconciliation works and what all things we have to do inside the reconciliation. For that, let's open the accounting module first. So this is the accounting module, I'm opening it. And the first thing which I'm going to do is going to the customers and under customer we have invoices. So I'm going to open invoice and create an invoice here. So clicking on create. Let's add a customer here. So I'm adding Deco. Okay. So you have the invoice date here. So I'm providing a date here. Then if you want you can you know provide the payment reference here. Okay. Then you have the GST treatment. So I'm adding the GST treatment as consumer. Okay, now here you have due date, so you can either give the date or you can just set a payment term for uh, this particular invoice, okay. It can be 15 days, 21 days, 30 days and so on, okay. Then here we have the journal and also the corresponding currency, okay. Now let's add a product here on the invoice line. So I'm clicking on add a line here and let's add customizable desk. So this is the quantity. Okay, you can either change the quantity from here and here's the total amount. Okay, so total amount is 787. So, I'll just remove this tax from here. So, 750 is the total amount. Okay, so don't forget this amount which is 750. Okay, so after that, I'm going to confirm this invoice. Okay, and let's, uh, you know, register the payment. So, here you can see 750. Clicking on create payment. So it's currently in payment state. Okay, you can see the ribbon, it shows in payment. So this is the invoice reference and the customer's deco edit. Okay, so we'll do one thing go to the dashboard here. Okay, and here you can see bank. I'm clicking on bank here. So you can create reconciliation here. So clicking on create and a wizard comes. So if you compare 15 and 16, that is Odoo 15 and 16, you can easily identify the difference uh, in, you know, the bank reconciliation and all. Uh, earlier, we didn't have such wizard view and all. Okay, the view and all have completely changed. So this is the date. I'm giving the label here. So I'll give the label as bank. And the partner, uh, I'll put Deco. The amount was 750. Okay. So that's done. Now I'm going to save and close it. Okay, so one is added here. Now, if you just click on this, you can, you know, easily get the counterparts of this particular entry, which we've done right now. Okay, you can see the counterpart has come here. So you can simply choose it. Okay, so here is it. Okay, open it and you can see the, uh, the amount, the memo, you know. Okay, so this is the corresponding invoice. Okay, let's go back. Now you can see these are matched. Okay, simply click on the send match. If you want to reset it, click on reset. Okay, so the matched label has gone. So after that, you can, you know, simply validate these counterparts. And what happens is that it will get matched. That is the reconciliation process will be done. Earlier, we had to, you know, copy paste the, you know, computed balance, the ending balance and all. Okay, so... This is very simple. This is done in the very simplest way. Okay. So we have one more thing. So uh, here, as you can see here, you have the balance and all, which is 750. You can see the bank reconciliation. That is the bank statements and all can be seen there. Now let's uh, see the case of vendor bills. So I'm going to create a vendor bill here. This is a bill reference. I'm adding the vendor, which is also, mm, let it be deco itself. Uh, here you can add the bill reference. So I'm adding the bill date here. So the bill date is added. Now here you have the payment reference, the recipient bank, the due date journal, the GST treatment and putting it to consumer. And let's add a product which is customizable desk itself. 
so i'm adding it to five quantity and the price will be okay five 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 zero and i'm removing the gst okay so okay uh, so this is the unit price right so i'm setting the unit price to 500 so this will be 2500 okay now let's confirm it register payment so it is 2500 i'm you know copying it this is also in in payment state okay go to dashboard go to bank okay let's so this is the one which we created before let's create a new one uh, the amount is 2500 and the label we'll put it as this okay the partner liquidity and here you have to do one thing you have to put minus before the amount because this is vendor bill right so you have to put negative amount the amount should be reduced right you're buying the product so money will be going from your account okay so you can save and close it so this is it simply click on it you can you know you will get the counterpart as you can see debit is 2500 credit is 2500 so if you want you can simply reset it okay now i'm going to validate it validation is done and it's in matched state okay now if you just go to customer invoices and check this is the one which we reconciled right now and the label i mean the ribbon has changed to paid state similarly if you go to vendor bills here also you can see the vendor will be created right now um, for which we've done the bank reconciliation and the ribbon here also has turned to green which says paid okay but earlier it was in in payment okay it showed the ribbon in payment now it's in paid state okay so this is basically how you do bank reconciliation okay earlier like compared to odo 15 it's very simple to do in odo 16 okay you can you just need to create and keep it so automatically the counterparts will come you have to validate it that's it okay nothing more nothing less okay that's all about the bank reconciliation thank you so much for watching see you in the next video